As News 3 first told you online earlier today, a judge has ruled that a former Dane County deputy who killed his wife and sister-in-law can be released from an institution. This comes less than a year after a jury found him not responsible for their deaths. Only News 3's Jessica Arp spoke to the victim's family about today's developments. Jess. Well, in a lengthy decision, a judge again cast doubt on whether a jury's verdict saying Steele's ALS caused him to kill the two women is accurate, but says he's bound by law and evidence to release Steele. Last month, the judge heard testimony in court about whether Andy Steele could harm himself or others. Steele was found not guilty by reason of mental disease in, his, in the deaths of his wife, Ashley Steele, and sister-in-law, Casey Tollifsball. In his ruling, Judge McNamara said, quote, there is no dispute about the fact that Andrew Steele has the mind of a killer. It is also undisputed that as the result of advanced effects of ALS today, Mr. Steele is a person who cannot move any part of his body in any manner that would pose a significant risk of bodily harm to himself or others. I spoke today to the brother and sister-in-law of the victims who say they're concerned for Steele's children. We're very concerned about the freedom that he would have in release. Um, as I said in the hearing, um, he can interject himself into our lives whenever he sees fit if there's no conditions put on it scares us because Rashawn and I are the ones that at night we're putting him to bed and given the fact that my two sisters trusted him and he literally betrayed them by killing them, it really does scare us. Brad and Rochelle Putnam are raising Andy's two children in Minnesota and say they'll fight for restrictions on contact with their family. Steele's attorney Jessa Nicholson offered a statement tonight saying this result is not cause for celebration by those close to the defense, saying it has been difficult for them as well. We are, she says, gratified that the court followed the law and look forward to assisting Andy in this time of transition. There is now 60 days for the state to make a plan for his release, but the judge indicated in his ruling that he has concerns about Steele's access to money and even the possibility he could hire someone to hurt another person. The judge said he will have input ultimately on conditions in this case. The story we'll keep a close eye on to see what ultimately his destination is. Jessica, thank you very much. Thanks, Jess.